Good afternoon. Today's section of our video training for the Dynamic Engineers 2014 product brochure uh, relates to very low phase noise TCXOs and mainly where you come across those with customers is in the frequency range between 50 and a couple hundred megahertz. Most common being a 100 megahertz TCXO and what I'd like to do is talk to you about a couple a few specific models that, that we have that we have sold to customers um, we have some 50 megahertz low noise versions 3.3 volt supply CMOS outputs as I alluded to in a previous video the lower the phase noise the better the phase noise requirement the customer has generally there's a compromise between frequency stability and phase noise performance so when you're dealing with a very low phase noise TCXO you are not going to be able to get a frequency stability say of 0.2 ppm they just do not go together for various technical reasons so when you're talking low phase noise generally speaking the customer will take the low phase noise oscillator and feed a synthesizer with that 100 megahertz TCXO to drive the synthesizer as a reference so that the synthesizer output that is in the gigahertz is as low a noise as possible but in order to get the stability a very very tight stability the synthesizer internally will phase lock the 100 megahertz TCXO to a lower frequency OCXO reference or rubidium standard reference but we have a few designs uh, 50 megahertz and 100 megahertz these tend to be uh, very niche products, a few hundred pieces a year usage, and um, but again, custom designs, and very few of the mainstream factories, almost none of them, want to deal with TCXOs beyond 50 megahertz. Typically, those are higher selling prices, and again, it's a niche that we want to participate in 100% in terms of the opportunities you see uh, in that area. We want to try to bid on all of those. Thank you very much.